Hello everyone and welcome to the 9th devlog of my game Nouvelle VR. Today I'm going to show you what I have been doing the last few weeks. I have been working on the questing system a lot, uh, so right now you can accept quests and complete them. So the way the system works right now is you just walk up to a NPC. When you open up the uh, dialogue you will have the option right here if there is a quest available. So as you can see this NPC doesn't have any quest. So I can just uh, keep using the normal story dialogue here. But you can also take the most right option to go to the questing dialogue. So this will switch to the normal dialogue. So nice to meet you. And when I take the most right option, I will go to the questing dialogue. So right now I don't have any quest accepted yet. When you do have a quest, it will turn up in your inventory. And here will all your scrolls be to review the quest objectives you have to do. And if I accept the quest right now, is there something I can help with? That's very nice of you. And can you fetch me five green gems? Sure, no problem and the quest is accepted. So right now, if you check your inventory, I have a quest scroll. I can just take it out and here I can review what I have to do. In the uh, future, I will add a check mark to every objective so that you know uh, what you already have done for the quest. When the uh, quest is in progress, you can always go back to the NPC. It has some unique dialogue when a quest is in progression. For example here, where can I get those gems? And he will tell you, you can find them in the mine, but beware of goblins. So right now I'm going to fetch 5 green gems and I'll be right back in a minute. So right now I have 4 gems in my inventory and a 5th in my right hand. So when I place the 5th gem in my inventory, the inventory manager will do a check to every quest I have. And once uh, it finds a quest that needs 5 gems, it will update the state of uh, this objective. And in time, when I added a checkbox to every objective, uh, it will also show on the quest scroll. So I'm walking up to the NPC right now. And as you would expect, his dialogue has changed to I have the gems. He will tell you thank you very much, here are 5 steel ore for your help. The quest will grant me some combat experience, so I just leveled up. And if I check my inventory, he also granted me the 5 steel ore. And the 5 gems I have gathered are gone. So all pretty regular stuff, um, the quest won't be as generic as this one. Uh, this is just for me to test everything and I can just iterate on this uh, in the future. I've also reworked the area where the goblins have invaded the mine. It looks a little more grimmier now, a little less uh, colored, more toned down. Um, the inside of the mine is pretty much still the same. Um, I haven't changed anything to that, it's mostly the part of the foliage around the mine um, that's a little more corrupted. Um, so yeah, I think it looks better than previously. A um, little more variation on the first floor. So the way I made the quests I'm going to show you now. What you're seeing on screen right now is for the dialogue of the uh, first quest. It's all saved in a data table. I have three entries for every quest. So right now I have the first three for uh, the quest with ID 1. One for quest date new, one for in progress and one for ready for completion. So that the quest has uh, three different dialogue options for the player, but also different dialogue uh, for the NPC. So the way I made this was without any plugins. Um, just because I don't have the funds to buy me a quest or dialogue uh, plugin. 
So I made it myself. So for someone who uh, hasn't made this, um, I think it will be a little bit more difficult to um, to understand. Um, but for me, because I created, of course, the, the system, um, it's self-explanatory. Um, I'll try to explain it um, as simple as possible. I will also show you a um, simple down image um, of uh, how it is made. So yeah. So these are the two dialog lines for the NPC uh, in the new state. So, oh, that's very kind of you and can you fetch me? Um, and the quest will start with uh, no dialog for the NPC. It will show you, is there something I can help with? Which has a dialog options pointer of one. And this will go back to the NPC dialog and it will check uh, what uh, dialog has ID one. So in this, uh, it's the first option in the array. So it will show you, oh, that's very kind of you. And um, this will also load all the three options for the player with ID one showing here. And this will show you nothing, continue and nothing. Uh, when I select the continue option, it has a pointer of two. This will load dialog line ID two, and it's can you fetch me five green gems? And this will in time load the three new options with dialog option as ID two. Zero, sure no problem, not right now. And when I select sure no problem, it has a pointer of 500, and in my code, it will trigger the accept quest. Here is an image um, for what I just explained, how this all works. Um, as I said, a little more difficult maybe for you to understand. Um, but yeah, for me it works. Um, so I can iterate on this, I know how it works and I can always uh, change uh, stuff later. As for the quest itself, I have created a blueprint that has every option uh, a quest might need. Uh, and I just uh, create a child actor for every quest. So right here you can see the uh, objective type. For the first one it's a obtain type. You also have a reach type, uh, but I can always add new ones. Um, so it's a very simple system where I can add new things to. So for the first quest you have seen, um, it's set to obtain. And it will check the same array ID in the next array. And here you can see five and then a dash and then it says green gems. And this of course will be translated in the code to you need five green gems um, for this objective to be complete. I can just change this to everything I want and I can always change the amount you need. And then in the next array it also has a objective state. Uh, so this will track if the quest uh, objective uh, is in progress or ready for a completion. If for example the player has five gems it will be in a um, ready to complete state. And once the player has uh, thrown away one of the gems for example it will go back to a in progress state. So the uh, quest always knows if the array has all the uh, items in progress um, it's not ready for completion and once they have all reached a um, ready for completion state the quest is also ready for completion and you can go turn in the quest with the NPC. As for rewarding the player I have the completion task types and the completion tasks. Here it has uh, three items um, the first one is award XP remove from inventory and award item. So in the next array, um, it will award 500 combat XP. It will remove five uh, green gems from the inventory and it will also award the player with five um, steel uh, or nuggets. And this will be transferred to the inventory of the player. Before it um, does everything of this, it will also check um, if there is inventory slot free for the award you're going to get and if not um, the NPC will um, have according dialogue to show you that you need a free slot and I'll show you right now. So right now I have five gems in my inventory 
so this won't be a problem um, because the five gems will be removed and I will get uh, five steel ores um, in return but once I add an extra gem I can go to um, complete the quest uh, right now um, but um, he will tell me I need one free slot because he wants to warp me some items so I'm doing that right here I have the gems I'm sorry but you need one free inventory slot so I have to make sure I have one free inventory slot before I can uh, complete the quest. If for example he wants to award me more than one item and I need two inventory slots free, he will also tell me I need two slots. This is almost everything I have done. Um, I'm going to show you the next level of the game. I solely created this because I wanted to test if everything transitions to the new level such as inventory and the quests um, and because I um, didn't really like just loading a plain old level with nothing in it I uh, created the, the theme already for the next level um, bear in mind it's very empty right now but it should give you an idea of uh, what's to come so it's an ice themed uh, level, um, the goblins here are just for testing, they won't be here once I'm finished with the level. Um, I'm planning to create um, unique mobs for every level so you won't be seeing um, assets being reused all the time. Um, but this should give you a fairly rough idea of what, uh, what I'm planning on. Um, there's just some snow, some rocks, an ice lake, um, so everything to start for me. To, uh, to add on. Um, I'm not planning on working on the next level a whole lot before the first one is, uh, isn't is done. Um, but uh, the thing is, once I created a uh, demo, um, the first two levels should be fitted with quests and, and mobs. Um, so you have a rough idea of, um, of how the game would, uh, would play. Um, so that's, this would be it. I uh, truly hope you uh, enjoyed this devlog, um, I also have a Twitter account where you can follow me, I post more updates there regularly, um, it should be on screen right now and I also have a link in the description. Um, also if you do want to follow the progress on YouTube with a narrated devlogs, um, consider subscribing, turning on those notifications. Um, I truly am glad you watched this video and I'll see you in the next devlog.